Hello my furniture refinishing friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy transformation, something that hides a lot of flaws on pieces like this that aren't solid wood. You can't really sand out the flaws and stuff, so I've got a lot of tricks and tips up my sleeve to share with you on how to make this dresser very sellable and beautiful. If you want to skip ahead to where I'm painting the dresser and doing the techniques and finishes to make this a really sellable and beautiful piece, that's at about three minutes in that I start painting. But if you want to watch the rest of it, here we go. Can you believe my neighbor actually threw this away and I came out and I saw it in the dumpster because they're moved, they're selling their house and stuff. And uh, I go, oh my gosh, like I can't believe you threw that away. And she goes, I didn't think you would want it because it's not solid wood. And I had to tell her like, hey, you know what? This has made me uh, able to pay my bills many times by flipping cheap pieces of furniture like this. And um, it is has been a great source of income for me um, all these years doing furniture because a lot of, luckily for me, a lot of furniture refinishers would just turn their nose up at this and walk right by it at the thrift store. And so I've been able to score so many pieces like this. And I love working on them because there's no pressure, there are no expectations, there's really just freedom and I can just try out different techniques and do different things and I end up making, you know, $100, $150 on something like this. And at the end of it, I've got a new finish that I was able to create working on the piece and I make a little bit of money and we're good. I'm going to prime this piece first because I'm just using cheap latex paint that I have around. But you could use chalk paint, you could use fusion mineral paint, or you know other paints that don't require a primer here. And that would work great. And anything with a lot of texture is going to be great too. And that's what I'm trying to create with the brush strokes. Even starting with the primer, I'm trying to build up that texture and wood grain look. You want your brush strokes to go in the direction that you imagine the wood going. I don't always do it um, perfectly, but I do try to just go straight across in general. And then we're going in with this color Rugged Tan. I got this at Home Depot. I usually buy the bare, but I was just being a little cheap and got the Glidden instead, and it's a semi-gloss.
Okay, here's my mega tip. So make sure you like and subscribe if you are getting some value from this video. But I really like this glaze. It's from Valspar. Uh, however, it's a bit too dark. They don't make a lighter color uh, for, of this particular um, brand. And so I have found that mixing it with a bit of paint is the magical solution. And what happens is you can, um, you still have enough time to get your project done and get the brush strokes in that you want and the broom, but it takes less time to dry and so you can get your project done sooner and it's not stuck out in the garage drying for you know two three days this dry dried overnight for me and so you want to get the color mixed up that you like i did about a half and half ratio you can test it in an inconspicuous area and see if you like the color and if you do then carry on if you don't like the color then you can just wipe it away with a wet washcloth and then you're going to apply it with your um, paintbrush onto the surface and then go over it with the broom. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is putting on this wax. It's a white wax by Bear, and it is very fluffy. And it reminds me of the texture of whipped cream or something. It dries slowly, so you have a lot of work time to get the look that you're going for, which is that French weathered wood look. And I like to apply it with a chip brush, but you can also use a lint-free cloth. And you'll see if I put it on a little bit too heavily, then I'll go over it with the lint-free cloth as well. Well, and this just creates that extra depth and also provides a protective finish on your piece. It's personal preference what you want to do on the sides, but I've done it both ways, up and down and then sideways like I'm doing here. And the sideways looks more high end to me. And then you could also leave the hardware brass or do like I did and go in with a white wax, the same one we used on top and then wipe away the excess. I thought that this tied it all in and just gave it that really Parisian chic look. Let's take a look at the before 
and the after. I'm so happy with this. I know it'll sell super quickly. And for me, this was just a really fun, relaxing project to do. I love just getting all the paintbrushes and all the products out and just having a good time with no stress. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching the video until this far. You are such a rock star and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.